Uh, listen, guys, do not be like me. Do your mobility and do your stretches as early as you start training. Ah! Hitting legs today. I gotta, gotta be loose. Gotta be mobile. So we're gonna go ham. We're gonna go ham on legs today. So what you do is you get your knee like on the wall, essentially, all the way to the wall. Toes pointing up. Leg, shin flat on the wall. And then you kind of take the other leg into like a lunge. Oh! dollars for coffee and water we are in the end times i turned my car seat headrest around because i realized car seats are must be designed for people with the most dog posture ever because it's like it you can't sit like this you have to sit like this because of the way the car seat angle so i flipped it around hopefully that can help me like correct my posture even more you know get rid of more forward neck as i'm driving so i can like consciously like keep my neck back <laughs> Haircut. I try to be uber conscious and in the moment this leg workout to really get like kill my legs essentially and then afterwards we're gonna talk about basically a big mistake that a lot of people make while bulking that pertains to their training. for a 3 by 10 is on the menu today. That's an insane amount of reps for me. That's usually the territory where I blow my back out. Caleb just left me, so every ne <laughs> Caleb just left, so the rest of the workout's gonna be in first person. I've uh, reached kind of a checkpoint in the editing. I'm also just so tired. Like, I could just fall asleep on this couch right now. But we're gonna go somewhere. We're gonna do something. Something I should have done a long time ago, but now that I'm at Alpha Land with these really bright lights, it's something I gotta do ASAP. And that is tanning. I'm simply too white for aesthetic purposes. Plus, it's an investment of my time because I'm not trying to sit out for two hours every day to get tanned. y'all can see but i am toasted it's getting more red i don't know how much of my butt cheek i can show i literally only did a level two bed for eight minutes but i wanted to talk to you guys about something pertaining to bulking something it's a common mistake i think i see a lot of people make including myself i've definitely done this multiple times throughout my journey when you are bulking most of the time you're consuming quite a big surplus of calories and i think people kind of sleep on how much those extra calories help when it comes to training recovery and how hard you can train i feel like a lot of us are just training at a maintenance level or even training as if we were eating a cutting diet but it's silly like in a sense, you're literally wasting the bulk because whether you like it or not, at some point you're gonna have to cut. You can either cut after training hard AF the whole time and have like a quite nice amount of gains, or you know, you get gains here and there, and then you maintain, then you get gains, and then you still have to cut because that's part of bulking. You cannot bulk forever unless you want to be obese. Like, I'm eating all this food for the purpose of killing myself in the gym so I can grow as much as possible, especially on compounds, which is why today I consciously made the mental note to do a three by 10 on squat. Being natty definitely has its limitations, but I think most of us underestimate ourselves and the output we can do in the gym. For everyone out there on a bulk and taking it seriously, my message to you is go in the gym and train like an animal basically every time. If you're eating right and sleeping right, you should be more than able to. Don't underestimate yourself, okay? 